Hey fellow Vault Dwellers, it's Angry Turtle, and as I promised last week, I was investigating issue with VAT's criticals, and here will be a proper testing for you. And before I start, for those of you that go this extra step to keep me in your subscription feed and like my videos, thank you. And now the testing. What we have for the testing? We have two handmaids. One is anti-armor, that's hit chance, and nothing else really, move speed doesn't do anything. And second one is anti-armor, faster fire rate. And I have those two handmaids with exactly the same modifications to do the proper testing as well, as I want to focus on the criticals and if those are working, I don't have commando perks, but I do have better criticals equipped and I have critical savvy. Uh, this is all paired with 35 luck to achieve easy critical every second shot, at least in theory. And under effects, I'm using blight zoop to give myself additional crit damage. And of course, I have eagle eyes to give myself even more critical damage and I'm on a team private team, as I don't want anyone to share like a random perks that will affect results, then yeah, that's a private team. And the perk is shared, is irrelevant, that pistol weight. And now, how we'll be doing the testing? First, we need a control sample, which means I will shoot a behemoth without using any criticals and making sure that everything works as intended. Which means I will let him wake up, hopefully. Wake up. Oh, okay, that, that worked. Okay, we we'll let him wake up and because I have, of course, follow through and I have tenderizer, then I will shoot him once and I will let all those perks register and then we start shooting in a torso. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, 20, because the first one, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 shots. That's our control group. 26 shots it take to put down level 100 behemoth. I will take some loot. Then that's the control group and that's on the private server. Uh, now what we do, we get another behemoth. Now the second test, we need this behemoth and we will test if VATS by itself will register or hits correctly, what means we'll hit him without using VATS criticals. And apart from that will be everything the same like in the last test. We shoot him once. Then we VATS him. We unload the full clip. And we are expecting to unload like six more. Five. That can be a rounding error. It looks like we spent one less bullet. That's, we'll take that. It can be a rounding error. That's not a big difference. Uh, one less bullet. And now we are doing third attempt. This time we'll be shooting slowly in VATS, but with VATS critical to have a baseline for what we should be expecting from those criticals. We should have the same behemoth again. Yes, there is level 100. We need to wake him up. He's, wake him, he's waking up and we repeat the process. We shoot him once. And now with what's criticals, but slowly. Let's see how many bullets it will take. Okay. That was 17 shots, including the first one that's like initial shot. Okay, 17 shots. And now when the fun is supposed to start, hopefully everything will be working just fine. We'll be using the criticals. Oh, he wake up early. Nice behemoth. He wake up very early. Uh, we shoot him once and let him time, give him time. And now with fast criticals, I stop. Yeah, it will be the same. I was just trying to stop in the correct moment, but it's look at working. Okay. We have this confirmed, private server, no fire rate weapon, all the VATS criticals were registering correctly. The next test, we are swapping the weapon for a faster fire rate and let's see if we'll achieve the same results in VATS. 
We should have, because in theory, those weapons are exactly the same. This one is just firing faster. We are on position. Initial hit. I think that's enough time and start firing. And okay, I stopped a little bit too early. But it's like two more shots. Yep. I missed one, then there was exactly the same. Private server, faster fire rate weapon, all crits registered. He was just next to the tree and lost my VATS for a second, but yep. All criticals are working with faster fire rate on a private server. Now the question is, what will happen if we add some lag to the game? We'll try some adventure servers. We are on the adventure server, still the same faster fire rate weapon as in the last test. And let's see if this will affect the results. Hopefully not. I mean, I do hope they work as intended and the only problem is lack of the sound or display numbers as those on hit numbers were never working correctly. That, that one thing we already know, but let's see if we get similar results. Okay, we can already see that he's waking up slower, but he did wake up. Uh, weapon reloaded. Poke shot. Give him time. And now VATS. Okay, I slow down and... Yes, it is the same, although I needed to slow down and it took him a second for those damage to actually fully register. Then it's the same, but that was my closest adventure server. And I don't know what happened with the water. I think I hop servers too much and I broke the water. To continue the testing, I will try to find a far away adventure server, what mean a far server of the Bethesda site by joining uh, people from my friend list that do not play nearby, therefore the, the, their server will be much farther. Okay, and we have our first far adventure server. I think I will do like three hops on random people from my friend list to make sure that the test is complete. A server is not Servers are not equal to each other. That's my experience already. Then we'll try like three random servers to make sure that we have a correct results. And standard procedure. Poke shot. Give him time. And what's? And the same. So far smoothly. Next server. And we have server on adventure number two. Uh, oh. Behemoth not present. And we are on adventure server number three. This one should be located somewhere in the States. Then that's possibly as far away as it goes from UK. Let's see. Still the same weapon, no changes here. Okay, the poke shot. Let's wait. And let's do it. Yep, 17 bullets still. All right, just to confirm it, we'll do one more hop. And we have server number four. I have absolutely no clue where this server can be located. Let's see if we can confirm our results so far. All right, the poke shot. Wait a moment. And load him with bullets. Correct, 17, then it is working. We have our results. Therefore, I will show you all the results on the screen. The conclusions are, it's looked like the server latency, what means server lag, in other words, does not affect your damage output, but what I was able to observe, it can delay application of the damage, then sometimes you will stop shooting and the damage will get in there after a little moment. And as well, when server have higher lag, I noticed that way less often I was hearing the sound of the critical being activated and the bar uh, reflecting the critical being used was not really moving as it's supposed to. But nevertheless, the damage was being inflicted and server was calculating everything correctly. Although on my side, like damage numbers were off, the critical meter were off, the sound was off, everything like, nothing was really working right, but 
damage were there. That's that's a really good news because I was thinking that those criticals are being lost. They are not. What is a really good news if you are a VAT crit build and you have a faster fire rate weapon like this handmade or fixer or whatever weapon you really have, your criticals will be applied. <laughs> that's a that's a great news for you guys. I tested is as as well as I was able to. I hope I didn't miss any situation where it can be messed up. I do understand that there can be some edge cases where your connection will be bad and server will be far away and this will all add together and maybe in case of extreme lag, some of the damage will get lost. I don't know, I, I have no way to test that, but I did my best to test what I could in here. Therefore now, as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.